Hi, today is election day and if you voted thank you for going out whether you supported Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Now I of course support Trump because I want to be able to live my life. I, I don't want people to be harmed or anything like that so no matter who wins or loses please keep the violence gone. Now I'm going to tell you why I'm a Trump supporter, not Biden. I am going to give you specific reasons why I would never support someone like Biden or Kamala Harris. Well, the main reason, I don't want people to die. Yes, die. And YouTube's probably going to go, there's no evidence of this. All right, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have stated numerous times that they are going to end all fossil fuels. They're going to end oil. They're going to end everything. Natural gas. And that will end propane. So if they win, everything we purchased is going to be just a big pile of junk. Everything from our hot water heater to our stove to our generator, everything will be worthless. Now we are preparing for a possible Biden win. So we are taking steps for that. And I will show you in a minute what steps we're taking. But YouTube's probably gonna go, you can't say millions of people will die. YouTube, I live in Montana. Do you understand that? The state of Montana, where every winter it gets freezing or below freezing. So, if Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have their way, everything will be gone. You will not have natural gas. You will not have propane. You will have nothing to heat your home with, to cook with. People will freeze to death. That is a fact. That is not made up. That is a straight fact. So, let's get into some other people. Not just the people where I live. Where, in the states where it gets cold. Let's talk about farmers. How much ethanol goes into gasoline? You end oil, oil production, drilling, there goes gasoline. Alright, without gasoline, what are you farmers going to do with your corn that you've been growing for ethanol? I mean, think about this. So, you're going to have all these fields of corn and you're not going to be able to sell it. Because there will be no gasoline. You know, they keep talking about doing the right thing and this and that and it's it's all a load it's a load of bull California is a perfect example they have gone massively wind and solar just a month or so ago they had huge blackouts where they had to turn power off to all kinds of homes I have solar. I have a small solar setup, mainly for emergencies. We have used it before to run our air conditioner off of. But I would not try to run everything. I have shown my solar will run my deep freeze and my little mini fridge. But think about this, solar is not always an option. Even I know that. That's why I have a power inverter that I normally keep in my vehicle. That's why we have a generator that we can run off gas. Solar is not always an option. So, in winter, where I live, if it wasn't for a lot of people having natural gas or propane, they would die. So now you have farmers 
who have been growing all this corn to make ethanol. Guess what? What are you going to do with it? I believe they will stop all fossil fuels. They have said it numerous times and now when they need to vote and stupid people are voting for them, they go back, oh we're not only going to stop it here, here, and here. They're liars and people that vote for them are fools. We went out and spent a bunch of money to be prepared for, you know, we bought a generator. We bought um, a propane stove, a propane hot water heater. So we could go off grid and be off grid and not have to rely on the electric company. We have solar, a small amount, because solar is extremely expensive. Anyone who says it's not is lying to you. Solar is very expensive and it doesn't always work. And then you have the batteries. Let's talk about batteries for just a second. They want to go all battery all the time. You have to dig up the earth for that material. There's going to be giant pits where they're digging to try to get everything to make these batteries. You know, Democrats love talking about the environment, but they're the biggest hypocrites out there. I live in Montana. For the past six weeks, we have got so much junk mail junk from the Democrat Party. This is trees that are having to be cut down to make their flyers and make their little pamphlets and their letters they're sending out to voters. Vote. For Democrats, this entire past six weeks, we have got one piece of mail for a Republican. One. And we have had hundreds, literally hundreds, of pieces of mail saying vote for Democrats. Vote for Steve Bullock is the main one we've been getting, and we wouldn't vote for Steve Bullock to save our lives. They say they care about the planet, but look at the stuff they're doing. They don't care. They care about power and getting in the office and putting all these socialist programs in. My girlfriend still has medical bills. She went to the doctor not that long ago. She has to pay them. She makes less than a hundred dollars, less than to even get on Medicare or Medicaid. Less than a hundred dollars. And she's still under the poverty line. But she can't get help. But they sure as hell want to tax her. We're being and getting prepared for tonight. And tonight they're not even going to say who wins. I have been reading these news stories. Oh, Trump can't declare a victory. But Biden can. Are you kidding? So now everything we bought in case Biden wins is going to be absolute trash. Don't run out and buy a generator because you won't have fuel if Biden wins. He has said it numerous times. Kamala Harris has said it numerous times. I'm sure most of you can't afford to run out and buy solar. So, with all the money we've spent trying to go more eco-friendly, which propane is more eco-friendly than electricity, so we bought a bunch of propane stuff. We're not going to be able to use any of it if they win. So, what are we down to? Guess what? We're down to caveman days. Cooking everything on an open fire. My girlfriend and I had a discussion last night about what happens if Biden wins. We already know what he's going to do. He has said so. 
Kamala Harris has said so. And only a stupid Democrat voter would go, oh, I know they've said this five or six, seven, eight times, but they changed their mind and we believe them. So, since if Biden does win today, everything we bought is going to be worthless within probably a year. That includes our new generator our propane stove, our propane hot water heater, everything is going to be worthless junk within a year. You watch. And the thing is, you people that vote for Biden, you're just not affecting yourselves. You're affecting other people. You lazy little pricks that want everybody else to pay for your school, get a damn job. It's not everybody else's responsibility to give you free college, free housing, and a check every month. Do you know what's going to happen if they do this? 99% of the people out there are going to say, why do I even bother working? I quit. Then where are you going to get the money from? We're having to get more prepared. If Biden wins, taxes are going up, everything's going up, and our rent will be raised. There's no doubt about that. So we will have to end up over at the property. That means we're going to be over there with nothing to stay in. Because we can't afford anything. My girlfriend's paying on medical bills. Because she ended up going back and having some tests done. And then she got hit with a bill she didn't even realize that she was going to have. Which was a medical bill. And that's two grand right there for just for that. And we haven't got the last bill for when she went to the doctor. Her legs swell really bad and they put her on water pills, uh, Lasix or something like that. And they put her on potassium or something. So she has a $2,000 medical bill she didn't even know she was getting. Now she has another medical bill on top of it. And people are like, well, file for Medicaid. You know, last time she went, which was two weeks ago, they filed the paperwork for that. She makes less than $100 too much for Medicaid. But yet she is still thousands of dollars under the poverty line. But I'm not getting into all this. I'm getting into what's going to happen if Biden wins. Starvation. I guarantee it. How are you going to cook if you have no way to cook? Solar and wind is not going to power your house. Unless you have $25,000 to put into solar and batteries. Most people don't have that. So we have to come up with the cheapest way to cook and survive when it's cold. The only thing I can come up with is what I'm fixing to show you. Alright, the first picture was a wood stove. This is the fitting that goes on a wood stove. Here's a small portable cook stove that's wood. And this is a AC adapter um, that you plug into the outside of your vehicle and it runs a plug on the inside so I can hook up my solar. This is what I'm having to order today. Literally. It's taking money away from our food so I can order this stuff. And this is a couple hundred bucks worth right here. And I'm fixing to tell you the name of everything.
if I can get this to close. All right, let's go from beginning to end. The stove. This is the cheapest wood stove. It's a wood box, basically, that comes with the pipe. It is a, for, actually for a tent. It's not meant for use in the house, but guess what? You do what you got to do. This is a guide gear, wood stove. They're like a hundred to a hundred twenty bucks, somewhere around there on eBay. The next thing that goes for the wood stove, it looked like the funny hats that um, Devo used to wear, if you know the group Devo. This is a high temperature metal roofing pipe boot flasher, flashing. It's a flashing, roof flashing. That's what the PV, the uh, that's what the wood stove pipe will go through at the roof and it's, you know, attached to the roof. And you're going, okay, you don't have a place to live. How are you going to do this? We're going to get to that in a minute. The next thing was a small, it says outdoor portable wood stove. This is the type that just sets inside of each other and you know I'll show you again that is for cooking in an emergency this is the AC plug port is 13 amp 125 volt this has a 16 inch cord on it that goes on the inside and let's get back to the wood stove this is the guide gear wood stove. This is the flashing for the wood stove. The pipe goes through the center of it and goes through the roof. Now a lot more stuff is needed for a wood stove, but depends on what you're putting it in. This wood stove will probably go in my van. And you're going, how are you going to do that? You know, it's in, you know, in your van. It's a big, big stove. Well, if Joe Biden gets his way, there won't be any gasoline anyway. So I can remove the front seats, strip everything on the inside on the back doors, and put a heat shield up, and put this pipe right through my roof in my van. And have beds closer to the front so nothing catches on fire. That would at least keep us from freezing to death. And we could cook on it. Everything else I own, the deep freeze, the mini fridge, everything would have to be outside covered up. But you know what? In the middle of winter, I'm not worried about the deep freeze or even the mini fridge. I can throw a bunch of snow in there and keep everything good. I'm worried about freezing to death. I'm worried about my girlfriend freezing to death. And if Joe Biden gets in the White House, everyone out there that relies on natural gas or propane, you're in trouble. If you have a generator that runs off gasoline or diesel, you're in trouble. If you live in a really cold climate, would you need heat unless you have a wood stove or a wood fireplace or something? You're in trouble. You know, I went to the store earlier and I passed a polling place. It's right down the road. It's like a block and a half from us. There was literally three to four blocks worth of people standing in line, basically shoulder to shoulder. And I'm not talking about six feet apart. I'm talking about one right after the other for three to four blocks, three and a half to four blocks. When I went to the store, when I came back from the store, I passed it again. There was literally 
eight, six, seven, eight blocks where the people standing there waiting to vote. You know, for them to say, if Trump wins, he can't declare he wins, but if they think Biden wins, he can declare he wins, that's hypocritical. Every one of these companies, Twitter, Facebook, even Google, needs to be broke apart because of the stuff they're pulling. Yahoo needs to be broke apart for what it's doing. Yahoo removed its comment section, right? That was the only reason people used Yahoo. All these companies that are literally lying and putting out fake false information need to be shut down. Newspapers, Facebook, Twitter, even YouTube, which is what I'm uploading this video to has its bias. You can see it on their videos. You can see it on what they share with you. In no time have I ever chose to watch Joe Biden anything, but I log into YouTube, Joe Biden this, Joe Biden that, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. There's like eight things for them. Stuff I've never watched. And I never will. I've never once watched CNN, but yet I keep getting stuff from CNN because of who? YouTube. Because of who owns YouTube? Google. I hope everyone goes out and votes. Whether you're for Biden, which I don't know why you would be unless you're an idiot, or for Trump. Trump has done historic peace deals. Trump has got the American people working again. Trump has brought more people out of poverty than any president before him has. He's got more people out of poverty. Think about that. And then you got these leftist rioters, and they are rioters. The newspapers are all saying it's right wing. Oh, no, 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 no. Antifa, Black Lives Matter, they're terrorist groups. They destroy people's lives. They kill. They destroy property. And all those things I just named are facts. And Antifa are cowards. All of them are pure cowards. If it takes 50 of you, 50, to take on one person, you're a coward. If you go hunt someone, literally hunt them down and kill them because they don't have the same beliefs as you, that makes you a fascist. You know, if you're afraid Biden's going to win, which I am, and a lot of people are afraid, and you don't have the money to take care of this and do something about it, pray. No matter if you believe in God or not, you better pray to something because you're going to need all the help you can get. This video is really long and I'm really upset because the way people have treated Trump isn't right and it isn't fair. And the stuff they let Biden get away with, I'm sorry. I've never liked Joe Biden. I've never liked his policies. I've never liked the things he did. But honestly, what they're doing to him, to me, is elderly abuse. He is not all there. Right now, he should be retired, enjoying his end days with his friends and his family and you know watching Wheel of Fortune or something he should not be have been put in a situation to me what they're doing to that man is 100% elderly abuse the Democrats know what they're doing they know as soon as he gets elected 
They're going to impeach him because he's not mentally fit. And then Kamala Harris is going to run the country. And you idiot morons that voted for Biden, you know it's coming. I'm really steamed. Today's our election, and I have seen numerous stories where mail-in ballots were either thrown away, misplaced, sent to the wrong person, and now the, a lot of these states are like, well, you know, we know that people should have sent them in before the third, but, you know, even if they're not marked with a signature, it doesn't match up, we're going to count it 10 days late. If that isn't cheating, I don't know what is. The Democrats have been cheating for years. But the media doesn't call them out on it. You know, I can only hope Trump wins. But there are enough stupid people in this country and greedy people in this country that think they're going to get free stuff that they're going to go out and vote for Biden. To me, it's a toss-up. I'm unsure about what's going to happen. But just in case Biden takes this, I'm going to be prepared somehow prepared for what's coming. And I hope you are too. I'm fixing to go. This video is really long. I apologize for the video being so long. I hope the audio turns out. But, oh man. The hassles we're having to go through in case Joe Biden wins. The people that are going to die if Joe Biden wins. And that's a fact. And YouTube's going to go, oh, well, there's no proof of that. Really? When he says, we're ending all fossil fuels. And the first thing I'm going to do is ban fracking. Let's see. Fracking produces natural gas and propane. Where I live, that means you don't have heat and that's death for a lot of people. It's just a shame our education system in this country is so poor. Where the kids are this downright stupid. And I'm going to offend a lot of these kids. Sorry, most of you are dumb. I've talked with more than a few of you. I have kids come in my yard all the time, jump in our fence so they can spray paint vulgarities on the inside of our fence in our yard. Then when I catch them, uh, what do you mean I can't be here? You're on private property. The kids rip the fence down, part of the fence. They rip the signs down that says private property, no trespassing. And then they know we live here. What do you mean I can't be here? You're spray painting on someone else's property. You're destroying someone else's property. And these people like this, the Democrats, are giving a free pass to. Alright, this video is super long. I'm fixing to go. Get out and vote. Pray Trump wins, because if he doesn't, I feel sorry for you. Try to be prepared. It's going to be a long election. With the Democrats cheating with their mail-in ballots and, you know, all this other stuff and everything they're doing. It's going to be a really long election. There's going to be a lot of riots and a lot of looting. Probably a lot of people are going to get hurt. Try to stay safe. And if you're conservative, try to be prepared before tonight. 
because if they catch you out on that road, you know it's not righties, it's leftist. And you've seen what they will do. Stay safe. Be prepared. And be prepared for what's coming. Alright, that's it. I'm fixing to go. I apologize for the length of the video. I hope the sound's okay. And I'm out of here.